Hi there, after making your own RJ45 CAT5E network cable, you will want to test it. And one way to test this is to use the um, LAN cable tester, this right here. And another way to test this is to use two personal computers. And on my previous video, I had already shown you how to test it using the LAN cable tester. So on this video, I'll be showing you how to use two personal computers to actually test your network cable. If you were to be using the straight through cable, you'll be connecting the cable from the first PC NIC car to the switch and from the switch to the second PC NIC car. And if you were to be using a crossover cable, you'll be connecting the cable from the first PC NIC car to the second PC NIC car. What you want to do on both computers are to go to the network connection and set up your local area connection for the NIC car which you plug in the network cable to. Okay, now I'll be going to local area connection, right click and property, and then scroll down to internet protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, property. And here, as you can see, I had already set everything up. So over here, instead of team IP address automatically, I manually input it in the following IP address. So for the network, I'll be using 192.168 and for the subnet, I'll be using 5 and for host, it could be any number depending on the circumstances. And then for subnet mask, I'll be using 245.245.245.0 and for the gateway, I'll be using 192.168.5.1 and for the server, I'll be using 192.168.5.1 and to make sure they're both on the same uh, network I'll be going to other computers and also setting it up so right click property and then scroll down to internet protocol version 4 TCP IP v4 property and as you can see here also I had already set everything up so it is in a um, same network because of 192.168.5 and subnet as 245.245.245.0 and gateway to be 192.168.5.1 and the server to be 192.168.5.1. The only difference is this no this is no this is on uh, number five right here as the host here and uh, over here is number seven as host. Okay, now what you want to do is open command prompt on both computers and have them pinch each other. So I'll be using this computer to pinch this computer over here and using this computer to pinch this computer back. So to get to command prompt, what you want to do is go to start and go to run, type in CMD or you can just type in command and enter and this screen right here will pop out. And on this screen, what you want to do is type in PING space for pinch and the IP address of the other computers that you input it manually onto the other computers. So I'll be typing in 192.168.5.5 Enter and it shall be giving you a full reply with zero losses. And the same thing as the other computer over here. And just type in the pinch, the IP address of the other computers. Enter. As you can see again, full reply zero lost. So that means the connection is actually working. The question will be what if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, then what you want to check for is the internet protocol to see if the information you put in is correct. You can also check for the cable line, the switch, or the firewall to see if the firewall is actually blocking your pinch from the current. And this is about it for this video and thanks for watching.